And that's another thing. Like when you when I first started off, it wasn't as high quality. But as I started to grow online, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I gotta kind of switch it up a little bit because I want to be a brand now. I want this to be something that I can still get paid from it even years down the line. Mm -hmm. So instead of just because I know some girls they just post like, oh, it's just for attention. I'm actually a business. Like I pay taxes on this and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's not. I have everything built in business format. What to do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y, and today I have a great one for y'all, ladies and gentlemen, because we are joined by model, host, and content creator, the one and only Coco Anise. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? The accent, first and foremost, is very strong, very vibrant. Where are you from? Um, Originally... I'm from South Carolina, but I live the majority of my time in Tennessee. So I would say, I would say, I gotta say, I'm from a low key from Tennessee now at this point. It sounds like Tennessee raised you. Yeah, basically. What part or parts of Tennessee? Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay, Clarksville. Yeah. Yeah. What is that near? So I only know two cities in Tennessee, and I'm pretty sure you know which. I'm, I know which one you're talking yeah. about. Um, it's 45 minutes from well to Nashville, like. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's real. It's close to Nashville. Yeah, it's like a military base over there. It's uh Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's 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 pretty busy over there. I heard Nashville like lit for. I've never been, but I heard Nashville like a oh, nice yeah, spot I to go to. Oh yeah, I love Nashville. Yeah. I miss Nashville. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's only like what four hours from Charlotte, five hours, six, seven, somewhere between that. From I Charlotte? I don't think it's far from Charlotte. I gotta I gotta check that out. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it's, I, I haven't been to Tennessee since. I moved here, so okay. Yeah. Well, let me ask you because I um I brought this up um in a clip I did with my last episode, and people had mixed opinions about it. So you being a southern, what's this? Is, if I call you a southern belle, is that good or bad? That's good. Okay. So you being a southern belle, are you attracted to northern men? Nah, they like me. You don't like them? I mean, they cool. I mean, I do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do like men from up north, but it just depends well, on so what kind. Okay, what kind of different type like? of men up north? Break them down. You know what I'm saying? Just like it's different type of southern men. You got the bums and you got the ones that got some stuff going by there. So that's universal. Well, I guess so then. Yeah, yeah. So you like northern dudes that got something going. Basically. Same with southern. Right. So you just like dudes that got something going in general. Basically, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I yeah. can't really say, yeah, I do like dudes up north though. I can't lie. They they funny. Y'all funny. Guys I think, up north. I think I, well, I think southern old heads are funny. They do, cause everybody, funny everybody shit. funky, everybody. It don't matter if you don't, if you not funky or not, you funky to them. They call you funky. That's they, like the that's their thing. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're pretty, uh, you're pretty. What they would call like, you're very well followed. You have a mass following on all your platforms: Twitter, IG. I, Technically, you be called IG famous. If I think it's if you have more than one hundred and fifty thousand, well, then you're, well, then you're IG honestly, famous, the right? page that I'm on right now, yeah, that's actually my backup page. I have five hundred and thirty k on my main page, but you know, people be hating and it got deleted. Damn. Yeah. But luckily, like I had that backup page, and mm -hmm. as I was building my main page, I was building my backup page as well. So. Wait, how? So how can someone get your main page? To, like, what? Oh, trust me. There's people that will pay to get your page deleted. Like, they will get hackers to actually get your page deleted. Like, they could be hating on you. Cause I know, like, when it, when when it first started was when I was in Tennessee. I used to, I used to travel back and forth a lot to mm -hmm. um, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I remember the first time I went to Atlanta to get some work done, my page just started getting reported back to back to. Back. I've never had that happen to me before. I heard the hackers be in Atlanta too. Yeah, they hackers do. And scammers. I heard they be out there. Too. Yeah, they be trying to get money out of you. They'll they'll get your page deleted, and then they'll say, "Hey, if you want your page back, you are gonna have to pay me this certain amount of money to get it back." So that's yeah, they up. they be doing that for real. That's Instagram, y'all need to fix that. Yeah. So that's what happened with you with the main joint, the five hundred. Uh, basically. Damn. Yeah. So how'd you even get to that point? Like, how does one even get to that many followers? Like, what what made you go? You know what? I'm going to have a large IG following and this is what I'm going to do to get to it. Like, how does that even happen? Well, outside of just everything, I'm a nerd. So I'm very strategic when I do everything. So as far as like with my main page, 
I would look at the other girls who had a large following and I would kind of study what they were doing and kind of implementing that into what I had going on. I noticed at that time when I first started, I won't give it too much gain because if you want some consulting, just hit me up. Gain to be sold, not to be told. Right. Mm -hmm. But I noticed like at that time, a lot of people was posting at certain times, posting certain things, certain things was trending. And so that's what I did. I would do that and I would kind of put my own personality into it. And for some reason, people just really get drawn to me. For some odd reason. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or not, but people really do be drawn to me. So, honestly, I didn't expect it. It's because you brown skin and you got a banging body. You got a pretty brown skin, pretty face banging body. You right. You yeah. know, I feel like... I, I mean, if I can be honest, <laughs> that's for sure. That's that's a good part of it. And also good quality. You do have good quality content, too. Like, you don't just be posting shit to post shit. Like, right. the quality do make a difference. And your shit is very high quality. And that's another thing. Like when you when I first started off, it wasn't as high quality. But as I started to grow online, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I gotta kind of switch it up a little bit because I want to be a brand now. I want this to be something that I can still get paid from it even years down the line. Mm -hmm. So instead of just because I know some girls they just post like, oh, it's just for attention. I'm actually a business. Like I pay taxes on this and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's not. I have everything built in business format. So as far I have assistance and everything. So it's not just me working a lot on like social media. Like I have people that I can go to to get direction from because I'm a, I'm a little hard headed sometimes. Like if I feel like something is working, I'm going to keep doing it. But I also am open to other people's opinions as well because I don't know everything. Yeah. So I have other people that kind of like they'll look at my stuff and be like, hey, you should start doing this more often than that. But it's got to be definitely somebody that I you know, look up to or kind of trust and, and feel like I know what they're talking about because people don't yeah. know what they're talking about. Right. What's the business part of, let's stick with IG because that's where me and you connected. That's where I see you most at. The business part of IG, like how does that take place? And I'm asking for those listening and for me myself personally because like I'll put out videos and clips that do numbers. I'm talking right. about hundreds of thousands. I just had my first million view video, but like I'm like, okay, I feel like I should... Monetize some way somehow this shit should be monetized, but I I just don't know the game yet. Like, what are some ways like the business comes across like IG to start with? Well, I would say for one, the monetization on Instagram is crappy because they'll tell you you can get monetized, and then they'll take it back from you. I noticed a lot with Instagram mm -hmm. that they are very very strict on the black content creators. So you know, like white people can get on there, they can do something so mediocre, and they'll get so many views. We mm -hmm. get on there, put some work into it, and we get maybe half of the views that mm -hmm. they do. But as far as like monetization, it's kind of pointless. What I would say most of the time, as far as like bringing in money, when you get to a certain level. Just start uh, doing promo or sell mm. a product. People like products. So if you're selling, always selling a product, you're always going to make money on Instagram because monetization is not always something that's guaranteed. Because I know people that just do like funny stuff online yeah. and Instagram will literally take their monetization away because they don't want to pay. Facebook, too. They like, do. I, I entered the monetization program with Facebook. And when I first entered it, the I'm not going to say the amount, but it was a good fucking amount. Right. And then, like, all of a sudden, when it came time closer to, like, what a uh, pay period stopped or whatnot, and then that shit decreased. I'm like, what the fuck going on? They do, like, they I was do that. Pissed. They do that. Yeah, and they took away, like, say I had a video. That's what I can't fucking stand. When I have a video that has nigga in it, like, they'll, they'll, take, they'll demonetize that shit quick. Like, they stopped me from collab tagging for 100 days because I had a video where my man said nigga, like, three times. Oh wow! And they, yeah, and they stopped letting me. Yeah, collab they be, off they're of that real shit. strict on um black content creators. I'm not gonna lie, because even on my TikTok, like mm -hmm. on my main TikTok, mm -hmm. I would go live on Sundays and just cook with my fans and talk to them. And because I'm curvy, they think everything that I do is sexual. I'm clearly, I'm not dumb. I know how TikTok works. I know you can't be on there wilding out. So I'm literally clothed. Nothing yeah. showing. I'm not talking sexual or anything, but because I'm curvy, mm -hmm. oh, she's got to be doing something sexual. Mm -hmm. They took my live away on my main page, really? on my TikTok. So I had to make a backup page in order to go live again because I, they literally took my live away for absolutely no reason. Yeah, TikTok be bugging like early. Did they give an explanation as far as why no, they did that? They um, didn't. So that reminds me of like teachers that be hella curvy and like they be wearing regular clothes, mm -hmm. but yet they'll get bashed for that. Like, what's your take? Like, on what that? are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now you good. So you're a naturally curvy woman. Like, even if you wear regular clothes, the curves gonna show. Right. So like with teachers and women in professional businesses and whatnot, when they get bashed for wearing regular clothes, but 
the catch is that they're curvy. Like, what's your take on that? Do you think they should dress more conservative or is that bullshit? What you think about that? Honestly, um, can I cuss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, you cannot twist your ass off and sit on a dresser before you leave the house. Because trust me, if I could, I would. Because I get tired of people talking to me. That's some Southern you shit. Know what I like saying? that. I so like yeah, that. you what, what what do you want them to do? If you're intimidated, if you're looking at somebody and in my head, I feel like if you're being turned on, mm -hmm. that's something that you gotta deal with in yourself. If you're even if vice versa, if you're a female and that makes you uncomfortable, then maybe you need to work on your self-esteem a little bit better because at, I don't care who in the room. I don't care how bad yeah. a chick body is, I don't yeah. care her how she look in her outfit. I'm always feel like I'm the baddest in the motherfucking room. I don't care. She need to eat some monkey bread. Basically, or yeah. eat some damn rice, girl. Eat some right. rice. <laughs> do a couple of stairs. I eat a lot of rice. <laughs> Stair masters. Rice? <laughs> rice, and I, I do work out, too. So. Is that the recipe? Rice, definitely. I work out because the rice is the, you know, the protein, the yeah, carbs and stuff. Yeah. And I do I do Stairmaster. Every time I work out, mm -hmm. I'm on a Stairmaster. And leg day is, I squeeze leg day in every day. Yeah. So. I got to ask you, is your ass real? Have you ever Absolutely. Worked it is? Yes. I fucking knew it. All right, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you, right? So I had like a poll mm -hmm. with like a few of my friends. I'm like, yo, this is what I'm going to interview next. I like to get like insight from different people. I don't want my questions and my God to be one dimensional. I was like, yo, this is what I'm going to interview. If y'all got any questions or ideas, let me know. Men and women. Right. And so like half of the people were like, yo, she got a BBL. Me personally, I thought it was natural. And I'll tell you why in a second. I'm like, nah, yo, I think it's natural. It's like, nah, it's me. Blah, blah, blah. So it is natural. I'll yeah, it's you. natural. I have had some work done, but mm -hmm. the only thing, I did have a breast reduction before, and that was in 2014, but I got it while I was in the Army because we ran a lot. Uh, and yeah. it was hard for me to run because right. my boobs were a lot bigger than what right. they are now. So it was medical. Mm -hmm. And I did have a mini tummy tuck because I do have kids, and I had two C-sections. I couldn't get rid of that. As much as I work out, mm -hmm. I couldn't get rid of that extra skin. Yeah. So I had to get it. Like It was, it was just bothering me. Mm -hmm. But I don't... You know, have a problem with people getting surgery. Like, if you feel like it's something you want to change about yourself, I feel mm. like that's something that you should do. But now, nah, this right here, this cornbread, cabbage, collard greens, uh, <laughs> rice, baby, this ain't this ain't fake over here. This ain't this yeah, ain't move. Talk about it, Coco. <laughs> you googling Coco? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Nah, that's what's up though. I mean, tell me, talking. That's basically like what they call it, like mommy makeover and shit yeah. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just from what I've seen, you can't even tell for real. Like from what I've seen, like from your pictures and like videos and whatnot, it looks good. I couldn't see like the tummy tuck and like you said, the breast reduction. So you were in the what army, navy? What were you? The in? army. Army. Mm -hmm. Are you reserved now? No, okay. absolutely. When got I got out, out I got out. I got yeah. tired of it. What you got I tired just, of? I got tired of it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's good. Like when you. Getting out of school, you don't really know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my family members, they were military. So I joined the military. Um, but I got out because, honestly, truly, I'm curvy. And a lot of curvy women, we get treated kind of differently in the Army because you have to have a certain height and weight in the Army. And honestly, I used to, I used to work out three times a day. Mm -hmm. I used to sit in a sauna because even when I was like... When I was in the Army for my height, I had to weigh at least 145 pounds. And even if when I'm at like 150, 160, that's considered overweight in the army. Really? And I knew a lot of girls that was in the army, they just had curvy figures and mm -hmm. they would get put in that category of being overweight. And it's kind of hard to maintain a certain height and weight in the army because you're working all day long. I mean, yeah, we do work out. But stuff comes up. And I just got tired of basically starving myself. Is it like a penalty for being you between 150 and 160? Really? Yeah, like if you... But what they do is if you're overweight, they do the... The tape thing where they'll tape your neck, your waist, and like the fatty part of your your butt or whatever. And they'll like do the body mass like that. So if you're overweight, that's what they do. Wow. Yeah. Damn. I just I just got tired of like feeling like I was like starving myself. And then I knew it was time for me to get out when I didn't feel like getting up and going to work no more. Like mm. it just got to a point where I was like, Yeah. I want to do something different. Like I feel like I could be doing a lot more. Like it's just the same thing over and over and over again. I'm ready to do something different. Yeah, it's like what they say: if you ain't got no love for it, then you're done with it. Or yeah, some, I was just some done. Shit like that. Yeah, and then just yeah. the treatment in the army, I got tired of it. Good too. Or, like good or bad. I've met some good people in the army, but then mm. there is the bad people that that's in there too that makes it look bad for mm. you know the other people, whatever. But yeah, I got tired of it. Yeah, 
Like, you're not going to be talking to me like that. Right. I was always that one in the army, though. Like, I don't care if you outrank me. You, you're you going to treat me like an adult. Even during, like, basic training? Like, when they were snapping on you, like, did nah, you... Nah, I didn't have no choice in basic training. Yeah, I was you know what I'm saying? It was on your ass. In basic training, though, I'm not going to lie. The first the first uh, few weeks when I was in basic training, mm-hmm. I was, like, scared. I was like, damn, what the hell did I sign? Yeah. But after a while... um. It became fun to me because I started getting, I like working out. Like okay. they call like when we get in trouble, they used to they call it smoking us. And they make us do like a bunch of push up sit-ups or or something, mm-hmm. some crazy workout. Yeah. After a while, like I started like to get smoked because I started getting like, I had chest muscle on top of my boob because I used to, they used to smoke us so much. I started liking it. I started liking the changes in my body from working out. So mm-hmm. after a while, it didn't bother me. I was like, we're going to get smoked anyway. That's their job. So I don't know yeah. why y'all trying to act good. Like, yeah. that's what they're going to do. If you ain't hurting, you ain't working. Right. No pain, no exactly. gain, all that other shit. If you can't tell, but now I'm big on, like, rhymes and shit like that and sayings and quotes I, I, and all I that. I see that. Um, <laughs> it, it was funny. One day, um, I was arguing with this with my ex. I was arguing with her. I said, like, some quotes. She's like, you Morgan Freeman ass nigga. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Like, yo, I love a good quote or whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so do, do you get recognized, like, now, do you get recognized a lot, like, in public and shit? Um, when I first moved to North Carolina, not so much. Yeah. But, like, now... I see it a little bit. What about Tennessee? Yeah, I'm good in Tennessee. They yeah. know me out there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, like, what? Like what is it? Like, what's the type of... What do they say, like, when they see you? Like, do they approach you? Or do they just give, like, a like a quick word of acknowledgement? Like, what would it be A like? lot of times they don't. They just DM me and say, hey, I saw you. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's weird. Yeah, right? Just say, hey. <laughs> like, I'm not mean. Just say, hey. You know, as long as you ain't doing too much, we're good. Like, I'm not going to be like, get out of my face. Like, just well, say, hey. Well, maybe they're intimidated. I do look a little mean, but I promise you I'm not. I'm very nice unless you try me. Every, I think every woman with the naturally intimidating face says that that it's just a look, but they're not really intimidated. They're really nice. I think vast majority of women that have like that naturally intimidated face say that. I am nice. It's just you're not going to play with me either. Yeah, you know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're not. I'm just yeah. saying that's that's what everyone says. But... um. Sometimes you do come across women that just naturally they don't want to be bothered with that shit. They just got that, you know, energy that get the fuck out of energy, which is cool. Walk away from Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't like people talk to me in the gym because I'm on my pre-workout. Mm-hmm. Why are you talking to me? Mm-hmm. I'm in the set right now. You come over here talking to me. Leave me alone. So I switched to a whole nother gym. I go to a gym where it's nothing but a bunch of old people go there and it's not hardly nobody there because I don't like people talking to me. Yeah. Like, especially like when I'm doing, leave me alone. Why right. are you talking to me right so now? So like, what do they say? And I ask because like, I got friends and shit that like approach girls. I've never approached a chick while at the gym. You should never it, do like, that. Like while on some working out shit. Like if it's some walking, like leaving the actual workout spot or in the lobby or walking, walking towards the car. I've done that, but on the fitness floor, I've never approached. I don't a know chick why people before. do that. So it's it's not like something that you like. I'm assuming, right? Like, no. what, what type should that dude say? Like, when they like, how do you even approach a chick on the fitness floor? I don't even know how to do that shit. Okay, so here's a few things. One thing I remember, I was working out, mm-hmm. and um, this guy <laughs> he came to me randomly and was just like, "Oh, you need to teach me how to do those leg exercises. You got some really nice legs. I'm not dumb." You don't want to, me to teach you. You're trying to talk to me, and I want you to leave me alone. Because first of all, he you're embarrassing me. He wants you to choke me. him with your legs. That's what he wants. Right. You're embarrassing me, and you loud as hell. Oh, he was loud, too? Everybody over here looking over here. Oh, uh, shit. And you're loud. And I had one guy in the gym start singing to me before. No. What the fuck was he singing? I forgot. No, he was singing. Uh, what's that song? Gosh, what is that song? It's so funny running into you. Had to be three years. What? Who is that? Do you know Baby Mother? Well, Baby Mother don't know. I it's don't an know. old song, but he was singing. He started singing to me in the gym. And I was getting irritated because I was like, <laughs> Yo, can you I don't even know what that? to do right now. Can you imagine that? Yo, I'm just picturing that shit like a dude just like, because you know, when you sing, body language comes into it. It was embarrassing. The too. hands and shit. And people was walking by like, I'm I'm like, look, baby, yeah. I feel the same way y'all feel. I don't know what the hell going on. Well, let me ask you this about the gym and dudes and whatnot. How do you, cause how do you feel about dudes like staring or looking like when you do squats or deadlifts or anything like that? Cause dudes do stare. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm one of them. But dudes do stare. I'm not. <laughs> 
So like, how do you feel like when, like, cause like you see videos like girls will like catch dudes on a tripod like staring at them, mm -hmm. and they don't make like content out of that. Like, how do you personally feel, or do you feel offended by it? Do you feel like oh, like it's kind of eternal? Like, how do you feel about that? Honestly, truly, I be mm -hmm. so into my workout, I yeah. really don't be caring. Yeah. Like, if you want to stare, cool. Mm -hmm. long as you ain't over here touching up on me or mm -hmm. just following me around the gym, mm -hmm. we're good. I'm I'm just so used to it. It do, It just, it don't do nothing to me. Mm -hmm. It don't bother me at all. You talking to me is going to piss me off more than you sitting there staring. Yeah. Gotcha. But no, it, it, it don't bother me at all. Like... Yeah. But I do say one thing. The old men, they don't give a damn. You no, know, young dudes. Old dudes go smack yeah, they, no matter what. They don't. They'll sit there. Yeah. Young dudes, they'll. Yeah. Them old men, they gonna, they gonna get. They, they not even working out. They will stand on the corner and just sit there and stare like. For real. Damn, you're not even gonna act like you working out. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it don't bother me. As long as, like I said, as long as you're not talking to me. Yeah. Or trying to touch me. Yeah. Like I said, I be into my workout. My headphones be in. I'm listening to some. Some some hip hop or something right. like I don't care. That's first off. That's the worst when my headphones in and someone try to talk to me at the gym. That is so annoying. I fucking hate that shit. But how you said like the old heads sitting staring, like the younger dudes kind of look and look away. I ain't gonna lie, I fall into that category because I be locked in too. But even when you locked in, if you see something nice, you see something nice. Right. You know what I mean? And I may look. You know what I mean? And she look at me. I may. Hold it for half a second, then I'll look like I'm in my workout, locked in, boom. But my peripheral is 150. But that's cool though, cause you ain't doing too much. But, nah. I'm, but it just be the old, the old men. They gonna stare regardless. Yeah, old dudes so, okay, cause what they got yeah, to lose? That's what I'm saying. They, they old. already lived their life. Right. They old and they got money. What they got to lose? They they don't have shit to lose. Exactly. They ain't got time to waste. That's what I'm about to say. They ain't got time they to waste. Don't. So they right at you. They right at your neck. Do you get Do you get approached by old dudes a lot that want to be your sugar daddy? I do. Yeah. But it's mostly old white men. Really? Yeah. It's not so much old black dudes? I've had a few old black dudes, but old black dudes be a little bit more creepy with it, though. Because they be trying to act like they don't want to, like, they don't know what's up. Mm -hmm. White dudes, they going to get straight to the point. Like, hey, I think you're beautiful. I want to give you some money. I want to spend time with you. That Black dudes, they be trying to act cheap. The old black men, they what be mean, trying like they to, like... Wives? What do you mean by cheap? You said no, cheap. No, cheap. Cheap. Oh, yeah. they're cheap. Oh, I, yeah. You know what's crazy? I was already saying, do the older do the older white dudes have more money? I was already saying, because listen. That I don't money, know if they have more, but I know they don't mind spending it. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. I was already saying, when you got that when you got that chicken on you, you step a little more right. confident. You know right. what I mean? So that's what that is. Um, so have you ever taken a pawn uh, one of these older white... You want some more of this? Are you good? I'm fine. Have you ever took... You good, baby mother? You good? Have you ever... It's like, nah, I'm playing with you, Bree. Um, have you ever taken upon one of, like, the older white dudes that want to be your sugar daddy? Yeah. yeah. I actually dated one before. Um, we were actually getting serious, but then I think I just got scared. Scared of what? Well, first off, what were the ages? How old were you? How he, old was he? He was 50-something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was a little younger, so maybe about... I ain't gonna say it, but I was younger than him. Twenties, yeah. Twenties, and he was in his fifties. That's mm -hmm. not, that's not crazy. Off of the conversation I be having with women Actually, nowadays, no, I was like thirty something. Okay, I mean that's shit. That's definitely so. not crazy then. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we started like actually like falling in love. I think we both got scared, and I kind of was doubting it because I was like, "Am I supposed to be the wife of a millionaire?" So mm -hmm. it was just like, it was getting kind of scary. And then we kind of like drifted apart just a little bit. But we still communicate to this day. We're still cool. You're still cool. Yeah. But the cool. romance part, it got too serious. You was like, am I really cut out for I this? think it's a Capricorn thing because he was a Capricorn too. Yeah, we're both Capricorns? Yeah. yeah and Capricorns, signs. we, yeah, Capricorns <laughs> and we start like, sometimes we, when we start feeling you too much, mm -hmm. we kind of fall back a little bit because we overthink. And that's what happened. Like I'm pretty sure we both were just overthinking. I have a I have a very good, very close female and male, very close Capricorn friends, and they're both like that. Yeah. And I tried to hook them up with each other at one point, and it turned into a fucking catastrophe because they're just like that. But what she said, baby mother, yes, no, thumbs up, yeah. So you're gonna dip on me one day? All right. So um. Okay, so what about it that scared you as far as you thought, okay, am I cut out to be a millionaire's wife? Because I asked that because a lot of women, like, that's what they work towards. It wasn't just that. It was more so, it was that. That had something to do with it, too. But it was also, I'm a black woman, and I want black love. 
Mm-hmm. So it was like, am I supposed to be with a white man? Like, mm-hmm. I still wanted to find my black king at the same time. So right. it was just like, was it was kind of conflicting. Was he getting sugar? How was the sugar? What was the sugar like? Nah, you know that sugar wasn't sugar. <laughs> I ain't finna lie. Thing so small, baby. You ain't gotta hardly do nothing. But it's cool. The money make up for them. The thing wasn't long, but them pockets was long. So it was, I'm still happy because Capricorns love money. So you so gonna me, give me some good sex or you gonna give me some money? Okay, I'm glad you asked that because my question for you is: if you could choose one or the other, good sex, I mean great sex, and not a lot of money, or a lot of money and bad sex, what are you choosing? Hmm. Damn, that's hard. That's a hard question because. I think Cap- I think as a Capricorn, I get bored easily. So if I'm, if you give me good sex all the time, eventually I'm gonna get bored. Especially if you're not like freaky enough, I'm gonna get bored. Uh, it's freaky, but enough. I don't think money's gonna ever bore me. So I think I would rather go with money. Money can't make you bust neither, though. Money can't, but I got plenty of toys. You know, <laughs> we can figure something out. <laughs> so you taking the money? Yeah, I'm taking the money. All right. How important is is good sex, good dick in a relationship? It's very important. Percentage out of a hundred. I would say, I would say ninety percent. Ninety. Yeah, because like, but, who want to be having sex with somebody and it's not good? So it's ninety percent, which is way more the vast majority. But yet you took the money, which would be the ten percent. I'm assuming. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a hard question though. Like oh, you okay. really got me in a tight spot. Good. Because it's like I want good dick, but then again, it's like I guess it just depends on the economy for real. Because right now we know, mm. right now we we got a little recession going yeah. on. So right now I don't give a fuck about no dick. No Where the bullshit. Money? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It depends on the economy. Yeah. So when you look at it, it's like. Damn, the sex is good, but like, what are you really doing besides having sex? Because like, I, when I'm like me, when I'm hustling, when I'm getting money, sex is not even a thought. So it's like, it, I guess I will still have to go with the money. Um, it's interesting you said that because, like you said, the economy. Um, a couple months ago, I found myself somewhat addicted to Fanduel, and I blew mm-hmm. a lot of fucking money to say the least, to say the least. And I was just in a tough spot, and like, I'm in a hole at the moment. And um, like I would receive like invitations for like women like have sex with them, and I ain't even budge because I'm like yo I'm in a hole like I don't even I yeah, can't even I get turned on when I'm in a hole like, I can't I can't I couldn't do it either like yeah. if I if I need if I got some money stuff I'm trying to handle like yeah. sex is just not it's not important like I I can't even function properly because right. I don't feel like. I'm just not comfortable right yeah. now to even be doing that. It's not important. It's not making me no money or nothing. So I don't feel like we need to be doing anything. Yeah. I ain't in the mood if I ain't in my bag. Basically. Another saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> so back to the following, um, which you having a large following and whatnot. I know the average chick that has an Instagram with one to 3,000 followers, DMs be crazy on the weekly. So with you having 330 on your backup page, not even talk about the 500,000 on a regular page, like what do the DMs be like on a daily basis? I had some heavy hitters DM me before. Yeah. So. Did you bite? No. Why not? I'm not even going to lie. Like, I feel like girls don't understand. The niggas with money don't like to spend money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know why you're in my DM. Don't sit here and act like you're trying to be in love. You're trying to mess around. And at the end of the day, if that's the case, I need to be compensated if we're going to be doing this. Because you know you don't like me like that. You got plenty of girls you could be talking to. Mm-hmm. Stop beating around the bush. And not even just that. A lot of dudes be corny as hell. They mm-hmm. don't know how to hold no conversation. And at the end of the day, like, yeah, it's cool. Like, you know, you up here, but the conversation is trash. And I'm not interested no more. Mm-hmm. So if a dude, like you said, you know what his, tension, his intentions are. Does it help when his conversation is good, even though his intentions ain't even trying to conversate? At least you trying, hell. The, that I mean, that I mean. At least you trying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some dudes don't even try. Like, it's just, you hit me up, and then you're not even talking about nothing. Like, because some some hood buggers don't care about conversation. Some joints just, they, they try to, to get yeah. stuff off they of their the name. Status. I think so. Here's here's my synop- here's my synopsis on the situation. I think when it comes to a situation like that, it's about what can the woman get out of the man, whether it's money, whether it's status, whether it's food. Some women will trick off for of some food, whatever may have you. It's about what the woman can get out of the situation. So it just depends on what she's trying to get out of it, 
and how she's approaching it and how he's approaching it. Right. He's trying to approach you just on some. I'm trying to get some. Yeah, I'm trying to get a nut in whatever. But I mean, right. You want the monetary side of it, but at the same time, have some type of personality with it. Um, I guess when it comes to me, how can I say this? Like, yeah, I would like, you know, the money and stuff like that. But I'm just one of them people. If I don't like you, I don't like you. Like, if the vibe's not there, it's just not there. I don't, I feel like energy is so important to me and vibes are important to me. And I don't want to waste it. Like, I've wasted enough time and energy on the wrong people to where I don't care how much money you have. If the vibe ain't there, it just ain't there. Like, I don't care what you feel like you can do for me. If the energy is not there, it's just not there. Yeah. What if uh, he do like Drake and what he say? I just sent her a ten piece, dog. He sent you a ten piece off strength. What he corny and boring? If I if the vibe ain't right, I'm probably gonna send it back. Really? Cause you wasted my time. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very big hey, on vibes. That's some stomp down right there. That's some stomp down. Like, right there. cause if I want ten bands, I'm gonna go get ten bands. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm not mm -hmm. gonna waste my energy on somebody just cause you gave me ten thousand. I've had proposals of guys that was like. You know, let me give you this amount of money and, yeah. you know, hang out or whatever. If the vibe ain't there, it's just not there. And I don't like, I really, honestly, me being who I am, mm -hmm. I don't really like people like that. So it's hard for me to just vibe. Like, if we vibe, you cool as hell. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I like people, but I don't like people. And I'm not going to waste my time being around somebody I don't like. I'm not crazy on the Sag I'm Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm not crazy on the Zodiac joint, but like I'm just hearing you talk and like you describe yourself and I'm comparing it to my best female and male friends. And it's like, goddamn, this is a split image. This shit is crazy <laughs> right now. Like they are literally how you're describing it right now. All right, so let's talk about the have you ever had any successful DMs like that led to like dates and whatnot? How many do you get a day? Hmm. I don't really be checking you got, like that. You got DMs, you got story replies, you got all the above. Honestly, I have I have to pick a day out of like the week that I just sit and go through and see what's important and see what's not. So uh, as far as anything being successful out of the DMs, I've had maybe a few, but it it starts it be business stuff. Like I mostly answer to business stuff more so than somebody trying to talk to me because in my head it's like so many girls online. Yeah. How what are you telling them? You know, oh, like, listen, it's it's copy and it's copy right. and paste. You're not gonna play with me like that. So if it ain't <laughs> no no copy business, and paste. your best luck to get with me is you better it better be on some business first. Because if I feel like if you talk to me and we and we link up and it's on some business and the business move right, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm probably gonna fuck with him because we can get some money together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's your best luck. Don't approach me on no just trying to holler at me. We can't get no money together nine times out of ten. I don't want to talk to you no way. I like a dude I can get some money with. I'm like on. Oh, I'm like a power couple type of female. Like mm -hmm. if we can't, I'll, we can't get no money together. I'm not gonna fuck with you. So there's never been a time where it was non-business. It was personal. A dude shot his shot and you reeled him in. No. Never went on a date with a dude in the morning. Like me that. shooting my shot? No, no, no. Him shooting his, and you accepted the shot. Like y'all ended up linking and going for a date. Nothing online. So you no. prefer in person? I prefer in person. I like to read your vibe, your energy and stuff. Cause anybody can be anything they want to be online. Text too. Yeah. So I don't yeah. I don't really go off online. You yeah. might look like you got it all online and I go to your house, you got roaches and stuff. And that's oh, gonna Lord. be a problem for me because I'm finna leave. Yeah. So yeah, nah. I don't go off you're gonna have to just catch me outside. And that's crazy because I don't really go outside. So I no. don't know what you're finna do. You better figure it out. So what can they do? Oh, they gotta they gotta figure it out. Figure go to out the gym way. or something. Yeah. I don't know. But you don't like dudes approaching you at the gym. No, but if I'm leaving, yeah, you know. that's what that's what I said. It's on the fitness floor is right. It's, yeah, no, no, no. That shit is different. That shit is definitely different. Um, but no, I'm big on the in person too. Like, I I don't really shoot my shot in the DM. Like, I'll I'll shoot my shot without shooting my shot. I'll say something subtle. Story replies. That's dudes' way for shooting their shot. At least a nigga really? like me. At least a nigga like me. Cause I ain't gonna I ain't gonna shoot my shot. I don't, no, I didn't shoot my shot. I don't shoot my shot in the DM. I mean, I did a subtle way. She's laughing. I did a subtle way with her, but I... It was a DM. I DM'd her <laughs> when we first met, but it wasn't me shooting my shot. It was me setting up a way for me to shoot my shot, right? Oh, so it was sense. on some business. Nah. No? Nah. Yeah, like, I'll set, I'll set up a way for me to shoot my shot, but I'm in person. Like, I know I'm a good vibe in person. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to set it up to where we can... 
me in person. Like if I if I if I can come across her in person, I know she's gonna be good as took. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't I'm not I'm not even good at texting and DMing and shooting my shot and talking that slick shit. I'm not good at that shit. Like I'm in person. I'm not a lot of guys are like for real, for real. I, man, listen, I and got that's some, why they probably be getting left in the DM. Cause... I got some homies that are fucking ruthless in the DMs. Like, oh, I've I... seen some crazy stuff before. Like what? What's the crazy? Somebody shit? said they wanted to suck the fart out of my ass before. Charlemagne. Somebody said they wanted to um, drink their water out of my ass crack. What else? I didn't heard. Somebody said they wanted to be my slave. And just walk around and do whatever the hell I tell them to do. I've heard some crazy stuff, and then it's just, then it's the ones let me fuck. They just straight to the point, like so. Yeah, yeah. all the above. <laughs> it's just crazy. The suck the fart out of your butt. That's <laughs> yeah. I, that's what, the only time I've ever heard that was Char- you know what? The only time I've ever heard that was Charlemagne say that shit. <laughs> He from South Carolina. You, oh my God! I keep forgetting he's in South Carolina. You're from South Carolina, and you live in Tennessee. Is that a Southern thing? The sucker fart of a butt. I, at this point, it's what it's starting Southern to become. Southern niggas is wild. I have a sound bite for you, a freaky ass nigga. Which one is it? <laughs> I hope that's it. I just played it. Is that damn? I think and so. Oh, it was a, somebody told me they'll eat my ass off the bone. That shit was funny. I had never heard that one. What does that mean? I don't know, because I was like, damn, do an ass got bone in it? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, see. Yeah, if, if you eat an ass, it's a long way till you get to the bone. Right, like, you got a lot of eating to do. Yeah, <laughs> So I'm Lord. guessing that's what he meant by that. Wow. So, yeah, I'm like, damn, you finna be extra full. Are you a fan of that, the ass eating? It, I am, but it, it depends. What does it depend on? I feel like you can't just be eating my ass. You gotta know how to eat pussy too, because and then, if and then work and then work down because mm-hmm. just eating my ass is nothing like. Oh, so you saying like a dude just going straight to eating your ass and nothing else? Yeah, that's a vicious dude right there. That's has what that I'm ever saying. Like, you? damn, you ain't even. I don't like that. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, has. Dude just went straight for the ass. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I got all this pussy right here. You just gonna eat my ass? Straight for like, the ass. Damn. I don't like that because it made me feel like you don't know how to eat pussy, and if you don't know how to eat pussy, I don't want to talk to you. Well, when he did make his way to your pussy, how was it? He never got there. So he stayed on so the So I edge. didn't talk to him no more. Damn. Because you might be a little sweet. So, um, did any... <laughs> I don't like that. You either. know what? That's not a wild point. Yeah, like, what's what's going on? Like That's not a wild point because everyone has an ass. <laughs> exactly. Everybody got one. And I had made a point about that, too. I was like, when I was talking to someone else, I, I said, honestly, I feel like dudes eat ass because eating ass is easier than eating pussy. Niggas is lazy. An ass is just a hole. Well, you feel me? So it's easy to just put your tongue mm-hmm. in and out of somebody's asshole. Mm-hmm. But a coochie, there's different shapes, different sizes. People's clits might be covered. Some of them mm-hmm. might be out. You actually got to figure out where a girl's spot is at yeah. on her vagina, rather than an asshole. You just stick your tongue in and out of a, in and out of a butthole. So it's like it's easier. Well, I agree. If a dude goes straight to the crevices, because that's crazy. But if it's on some bonus. If it's on some bonus shit, oh, then, yeah. that's, then different. that's different. That's different. Like yeah. I, I, that's wicked. I've only ate two asses my whole life, and <laughs> there was my exes. You know that's what I'm saying? Good. You're not I, I, just eating ass. Nah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like Fat Trail out here. Like speaking, of, I think Fat Trail are the first to like make that shit like popular. But nah, I'm not Fat Trail out here. I got some homies that's living wild like that. But I don't go. I'm just not going straight to an ass and that's it. That's all. Right. If I eat a chick ass. It's because it's the bonus. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I already made it come from either out, and then I'm going to make my way down. And that's how to, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like, they don't know the steps to eating. Man. They just go straight eat. Like, I'm now it's, just it's get be, off me. It's because it's somewhat popular now. Like, everyone talk about eating ass. Right. So, in their mind, they probably don't, like you said, don't have experience eating pussy. So, they like, oh, shit. Right. Eating ass, I know that's going to get her wet. So, I'm going to go straight for And it doesn't do ass. nothing for me because, like, I need to be stimulated there first before you go down there. Exactly. It's a bonus. So, it's like. So, do you prefer credit card swipe or going in for the uh going in for the kill what you mean you need to explain that to me so credit card swipe is grazing the ass and going in for the kill is going past the surface going past the going in digging in oh you mean like having Tongue sex in. no 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 no. i'm sorry as far as oh licking ass, oh licking or putting it in i like both go. both i like both but i i think i prefer to going in though yeah, more than anything, cause it, it's it, it do feel a little different. And you have a lot of ass. Have you ever like done the suffocating shit? 
I've had people ask me. Yeah, I have. Yo, it's some. <laughs> yo. I have. I have. I don't um, judge anybody as far as their sexual pleasures or whatnot, but the suffocating shit is, is, is popular. Not yeah, saying that, I have. You know I've had, actually had guys ask me to do it, like to, to pay me to do it. To so suffocate them, just yeah. sit on them. Yeah. How about pissing? Has anyone off, uh, wanted you to piss on them? I've had that as well. Yeah. I've also had guys ask me to send them videos of me. Taking a shit. No, yeah. really? They be into that stuff. I wonder what gets people I don't, there. I don't know. It's nasty as hell to me. I don't I don't know. I don't judge people's kinks and fetishes. Yeah, me neither. But me neither. Me neither. That's something but I can't I'm, get into. I don't judge it, but I'm intrigued. Like, what gets you to the point where, yo, seeing a chick shit gets my dick hard? That's you just weird as hell. I, I don't know. It, I, I, There's I, nothing I, sexy about that. I vividly remember it was just on Twitter which we'll get to, it was this uh, one chick who has OnlyFans and she does, you know what I'm saying, like content and whatnot and banging content. And one day she posts a video of her shit and I unfollow her immediately. Sexy. Yeah, it's it's just not, I would, I, I wouldn't, nah, I wouldn't want to promote nothing like that. Yeah, I, I don't get it. It's just, I don't, mm, I just feel like that's just, that's just over the top. Well, um, since we're on the topic of Twitter and whatnot, let's talk about OnlyFans for a second, shall we? Um, just to kind of mix that with dating, since we were talking about, what is dating like you first and foremost? Like, are you looking to date? Are you kind of just like, I'm focused on my business? Like, what is that like for you first and foremost? Honestly. Yes, honestly. Dating. I don't really care about it right now. I was going to say, it sounds non-existent. Not non-existent, but just like you're not too worried about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not really too into it because... I don't know. I just don't even really care about dating, honestly. Like, I will go out on a date, mm -hmm. but, like, just being serious with somebody, I don't really think is my thing right now. I'm not going to lie. I was eavesdropping when you pulled up, and you were telling a story how, like, some chick hit you up and said, y'all was messing with the same dudes. Yeah. Was and it true? It was true, but I didn't even give a fuck. Like, you can have him. I'm more upset about you coming on my business page, starting shit in front of my fans. I don't give a... I don't. Oh, it was on it was on. It yeah, was on like, blast she tried to tag see? me on Twitter about this oh. guy. Oh, wow. And was like, well, yeah, me and Coco Nice, we're fucking the same guy. Yeah, that's but... not a good look for you. How does she look? Does she look good? Hell nah. That's not you a good look. I wish I could show you what she looked like. That's not a good look. But yeah. I went off because I was just insulted because, and that's why I be telling dudes, like, when you mess with a certain looking female, mm -hmm. you can't be going and messing with these ugly ass hoes because now they feel like they're at the same level of that chick. And then when you humble their ass, now you like the mean girl. And I had to humble her like, girl, we would never. You couldn't even be in the same room as me, ho. Mm. Did she want to be in the same room with you? She did. I think she was trying to use him to get to me because she kept saying something about... Well, if I mess with him and you mess with him, we might as well all just fuck. Now she was trying to low-key ask for some pussy. Because you know, they be having crushes on me. It's yeah, so weird. Like, yeah, I could be dating a guy and then the girl will meet, you know, the yeah. girl will meet or find out that he's talking to me and right. it becomes an obsession to where they right. want me. Yeah. It's weird. What I said before, women, they want something out of it, whether it's status. When I think it's the status for you. And the looks, because you look good. So they probably want both that and the status when I... But it's, it's, it's weird that you said that, because, like, women... I had um shout out to uh shout out to um Juju shout out to my girl Juju she was on here before and she was saying the same thing happened to her similar like she had a dude and his baby mother hit her up and was on some yeah like you fucking with him I still fuck with him let's meet and talk this out and she ended up fisting her yeah they be having they be <laughs> they be in love like I remember when my my kid's dad mm -hmm. I was being petty at the time. I found out he was talking to this girl. Mm -hmm. And I knew I'd get the girl. It's, that's easy. So I found out who the girl was. Ended up meeting her. Ended up having sex with her or whatever. And then we all, all three of us met up. And she told him, she said, I don't even want you no more. I want her. I said, bitch, I don't want you either. Now we all fucking single. Yes. And he was so mad. He was like, you gonna break up me and you gonna take my bitch? I don't want the bitch. Now we all single. Checkmate, bitch. Don't play with me, because I can take your bitch. Don't play with me. That's a hell of an obtuse triangle oh, yeah. right there. I'm kind of petty. <laughs> Capricorns are kind of petty. If I'm going to play, I don't, we don't play, we, we play uh, chess, not checkers. Because when a, we hurt you, we're going to hurt you real bad. That's a hell of a triangle right there. Yeah. Wowzers. <laughs> um, let's talk about OnlyFans for a second, shall we? First, let me ask you. Well, first off. Like I said before, before the show started, I saw your main page, which uh -huh. is your backup page technically, and I was like, okay, we're gonna talk. I was, I had the whole show structured around content, mm -hmm. which is good, cool. 
Today earlier, I I realized that you had two other pages in your bio tagged. Yeah. I was like, all right, let me check out these other pages, see what's going on. I checked out one. One of them had the clapping video. I showed that to somebody. They damn near passed out, <laughs> first and foremost. Let me say that. But um, and then I saw the hyperlink, like the link link tree type thing, which is right. you know what I'm saying. And then I found the Twitter and then the OnlyFans. I was like, okay, so it's more to it. That created a whole nother conversation of notes that I took down, which I didn't even get to. Like, we're deep into this combo, and I'm just now getting to like the. the rest of this yeah, yeah, crush that. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, and we're just now getting to it. But honestly, that's how this shit go. What I tell you, this shit in the interview is a conversation, right? Lord Jesus. Yeah. It's a fire. <laughs> Oh shit, you gotta love the news. Um, so let's talk OnlyFans. First and foremost, how did you even get into when and how did you get into OnlyFans? <laughs> well, um, I started OnlyFans in December of 2019. I had it, but I was bullshitting with it. And it's so crazy when I started it because COVID hit. And right I didn't even COVID, know the reset, like the, I didn't stupid. even know it was coming. Yeah. I just did it because I wanted to do it. Right. Um but I'm sure you want to know why I started it. Yeah, why not? Um, I'm a very sexual person. So I started my OnlyFans. I was like, well, I play with my pussy all the time anyway. Like, mm-hmm. it's like a daily habit for me. Mm-hmm. It's just something that I do. Why, why not just make money from it? Yeah. And then not to mention the fact, at that time, I was a dancer. And I kind of got tired of being in the strip clubs all the time. I was like, why don't I just do something from the comfort of my own home? Because I do have, I do suffer from anxiety and depression and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was a way for me to be able to do something from home that I like to do and still make money from it. And I'm just like a free spirited person. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't see sex as like everybody else. I know Mm -hmm. some people see it as just like getting their rocks off. To me, sex is art. Like... That's how I see sex. I don't know. I know some people see it as just like, oh, they just, it's art to me. Like yeah. certain like stuff I see on porn and position stuff. I'm like, damn, that's dope as fuck. Like yeah. I don't look at it like, oh, they should be doing that. It's mm-hmm. art to me. Like, damn, mm-hmm. I'm going to try that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just, I just did it because like I said, I, I wanted to make money from it. I do it all the time anyway. I might as well. And I don't really have no shame in anything that I do. Because if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So. Right. Okay, that yeah. definitely makes sense. So you started out, it sounds like you started out with just a single content, mm-hmm. right? Um, you do have content with partners. Right. So my question is, how do you even find, like, as as someone who has OnlyFans, how do you do the collab content, right? Does that come from you reach out to people or you already know who you want to collab with and it happens? Or do people reach out, other collaborators, OnlyFans, male and female uh, co- OnlyFans cl- uh, content creators, do they reach out to you and y'all kind of, you know what I'm saying, come through on some business shit? Is it personal? Like, how does the collab pieces happen? Well, when I first started off OnlyFans, as far as, like, the collab, I didn't really collaborate with guys like that. Mm-hmm. I've never really been big on collaborating with men. But there was, like, maybe, like, two that mm-hmm. I did collaborate with, and mm-hmm. they approached me. And then we, one of them I was actually talking to for about a year okay. before I actually collaborated with him because I wanted to get to know him. Like, I just yeah. can't just, I'm not one of those girls. I just can't just sleep with you just off of, you got OnlyFans and I have OnlyFans. Like, mm-hmm. I need to get to know you, see where your head at, see if we right. even vibe because I don't want to shoot content and it's going to be trash because there's no energy, there's no chemistry there. Yeah. So that's how that one happened. The other one we was talking for a few months mm-hmm. and then we was like, okay, let's go ahead and prepare to shoot. So... That's how that went. And then after that, I met my ex and he just became my partner and we just shot. That's the only guy I shot with. All right. You said you, so your ex had only, did he have an OnlyFans or did he see what you was doing? No, he knew I had an OnlyFans, but it's like, in my head, we're always having sex. Mm -hmm. We're not recording it. You know, this is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just start recording it? So that's how that became. And he just, he made an OnlyFans because... I had one. I told mm-hmm. him to make it just so I can be able to tag him in okay. the videos because on OnlyFans, you can't post your content with other people without tagging them. So I was okay. like, just make one just so that we both can have one. Okay. So it could be just easier for me to just tag you in the content. Right. Do you manage your own OnlyFans? Um, yeah, for the most part. But I do have assistance because it becomes a lot. Yeah. And I, it, honestly, it becomes like overwhelming sometimes just talking to a bunch of guys all day. Yeah. So I do like for the most part I do, but like... I do have assistance mm-hmm. sometimes. Not all the time. Yeah. Most of the time you're talking to me. Right. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I did some research 
on your OnlyFans and your Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I saw something that said my ex, I, some my ex was in the caption. Was that literally your ex? You know, some captions don't really be what they be what you be talking about. You, know what you I mean? mean what was it the backshot video? Yeah. You know what? Honestly, he got mad at me about that. And he messaged me like, the next ex? day. It was my ex. Uh -huh. Why did you get he mad? He was mad because he was like, stop posting me on your shit. <laughs> well, but honestly, why would, honestly get, why would he get upset about look, it? Honestly, he, I'm going to tell you, I didn't care, honestly. But when I posted it, I didn't post it out of maliciousness. I'm a content creator. I know yeah. what's going to get the guys going. I know yeah. what's going to get them turned. I was like, damn, I could just use this as a point to get my fans riled up. Right. And that's why I posted. It was no malicious intent. Yeah. And I didn't think nothing of it because I didn't think he was seeing it because I didn't think he was still watching my shit. Like, uh -huh. it's almost been a year since we broke it up. So it's like, damn, then, you still okay. on my stuff. All right, let me let me, let me me put a pause on that. It's been almost a year since y'all broken up. Mm -hmm. But how long have y'all been making content since We was together for like two years, so. When was the most recent content y'all made each, with each other, even though y'all broken up a year ago? Um, Before we broke up? It was after. at least. After. The most recent that him and I made? Mm -hmm. We haven't made any content since we broke up. Oh, so y'all only making content when y'all were together? When we were together, Oh, yeah. so you posted that. You literally posted that when y'all were exes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now but one of my sense. homeboys did you said tell me. Ex, so I'm thinking yeah. like literally that was the ex that you rekindled with. No. And y'all just made content. We're not together just no more. But oh. my, my homeboy did tell me, he said, well, I can kind of see how that would kind of piss him off because of the way you worded it. But I really wasn't trying to piss nobody off. I really was just thinking I was in content creator mode. Like, I would have took it as marketing. It was marketing. It definitely like, was me, marketing. I would have been like, give me 30%. But yeah, it was definitely it was marketing, marketing, but it was def it was definitely marketing, but it wasn't, I didn't do, I don't do anything out of maliciousness. Did you break them off? What do you mean? Did you give them a, did you give them a piece of that content that, that, I mean, any that video? videos that we have, he has them. And if he wants them, he's able to get them from me. I mean, I'm not. Okay. We're not beefing. He That's thinks fair. we're beefing. That's fair. For some reason. He yeah. from Memphis. So Memphis niggas, they just. Just what? I aggressive as hell. They're aggressive and they think everything is beef. You know? I don't know. That's that's how they are. I'm telling All you. I, when, I, when I think of they Memphis, cool, I just think of hustle and flow. Oh, okay. See, no, that's I, definitely I, not it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know much about yeah, Memphis. That's, you know that's what not I mean? it. <laughs> um, so, if someone does reach out to you, they want to collab and whatnot, what are the prerequisites? How do they meet the quota? Um, you got to at least be attractive to me for one. And then for two, you have to have yourself established. And then we have to definitely go get tested. And then we have to talk and see if there is even the chemistry or a vibe between us for me to even want to shoot with you. By talk, what do you mean? In person or over Zoom? Like we could talk over the phone. You know, I want to see what your, what your, what, how you, how you speak to women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. How do you like a guy that speaks to women? Aggressive or polite? Polite. Polite? I don't like that aggressive stuff. Well, as far as in person. In person? Yeah. I like politeness. Okay, but what about when y'all when y'all sneaking and geeking? Do you want it like it aggressive? It depends yeah. on how I'm feeling that day. Yeah. Help cause both is fine with me, you know? So mm -hmm. it just depends. Best of both worlds. Right. All right. Physically, what are the prerequisites? <sighs> Does he have to send a picture of his piece to you before y'all even do anything? Of course. I nobody nobody trying to shoot with no little ass dick. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever like, has ever, let me ask you this. Has anyone ever catfished, dick fished? Has anyone ever dick fished you? No, honestly. Yeah. yeah. No. So what uh -huh. are like, cause you, you got body. So like you got some room to work through to even get to the yeah before they can even yeah. So right. what are like, what are your like, what are your personal like requirements from a dude as far as like lengthwise for him to collab with you? I would say at least six, seven inches. You know what I'm saying? Nothing under five. Cause like. You're not going to be able to get past the cheeks. Yeah. But then again, I have had some good little meat before. I've heard that before. Yeah, I had some good little meat before. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 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 <laughs> what what made it good? Because I've heard that before. And I'm just curious because you see women just advocate for big penises. So like, I don't what... like nothing too big now. I, I won't let. If it's too big, I ain't messing with it. I've heard that before. So, so like, what makes, like, the schmediums good? Like, what? It's just a perfect fit. It goes in a perfect hole, and it's just perfect, you know? Not Nothing too big. I don't like them too big because it, it's painful. Sex is supposed to be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys with big dicks, they just feel like, I'm just going to pound it out. Mm -hmm. And you can't be doing all that. Like, you mm -hmm. got to know how to work it. And then a lot of times, guys don't do a lot of foreplay now. So she's not even ready yet for you to put that mm -hmm. big old thing up in her, and mm -hmm. you just throwing it up in her. That, that mm -hmm. It hurts. So, mm -hmm. no. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. 
do you um I, so I first of all, let me say this. I'm gonna pull your card right quick, Coco. Oh gosh. One of your only fans was misleading because it said free. I tried to subscribe to do some research and then it asked for my card info. Oh, it is free, but they still ask for it because when you pay for like the pay-per-view videos, they want to have it on file so you can just pay for it like that. Oh, uh, so that's how that works. So if but I it give is, if I give them like a, if I give them like a, a a dead card that expired two years ago, will they still let me rock? I don't know. You gonna have to ask the OnlyFans. Then. Yeah. I'm not sure how that works. I don't give my card info. I've never paid for OnlyFans. I was li listen. I've never gave my info to an OnlyFans ever. Mm -hmm. Asked for first name. I said Victor. It asked for my <laughs> email. I gave my my backup. And it email. still lets you sign up. Yeah, but then when I clicked on the videos, it asked for um, card info. Okay. I was like, see, nah, y'all got yeah, me fucked up. Yeah, it's the free subscription, like, yeah. but you do have to pay to watch the videos. So, mm. yeah, that's how that works. Well, I won't be doing that. I'm just, I've just <laughs> never, I'm just, I'm just like, yo, know, Twitter, and I have a few websites. I'm not going to name them, but Twitter and my websites, like, especially Twitter. You don't even have to go on online. Well, Twitter's now. changing now. They're kind of so. like getting to the point where people that do that type of work, mm -hmm. they're shadow banning a lot of us. So you won't be able to see the, a lot of that content no more. Really? Yeah. Because here's so um, I feel I could manage a OnlyFans just one because time is of the essence. I feel I could manage one OnlyFans great because I kind of get it. Here's tell me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna break it mm -hmm. down. When it comes to OnlyFans, Twitter is a new porn hub. Right. What I mean by that is, if you have an OnlyFans, you go to Twitter, you post certain clips, not too much sauce, but just enough. You post clips to Twitter. You hit up these porn pages on Twitter. You send them some of your content. Be like, hey, can you post this? If they ask for a fee, cool. Pay $20, 50 $100, whatever. They post it, and they tag your OnlyFans handle and your Twitter handle, which has your OnlyFans handle. So it's like giving them trailers. It's like movie trailers. When right. movie trailers be on different movies, that's what Twitter is. You give them the trailers, you post the videos or whatnot, they see that, they go to your page, they go to your OnlyFans, and that's what makes them subscribe. Also, you can put it on the hub, on the hub too. The hub is decent, but your best bet as far as getting OnlyFans traction it's is Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I mean, you could do it like that. It depends on how far you want to take it, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many different platforms to promote on, but it's, on each platform is Twitter is just the easiest way to promote your OnlyFans because there's no limitations on what right. you can post. Right. But if you're really wanting to really get out there, you would have mm -hmm. to definitely strategize how to promote it on other platforms without actually getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what you do with IG? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I def I, just off of first sites when I first came across your IG, I couldn't like I said I couldn't tell you had OnlyFans. I thought it was just content where you're looking good, you're looking sexy on your videos and whatnot. But I'm like, <laughs> it, it. I was in. I was. I was. I was. Um. You had my attention at first, but then. I started getting intrigued, and that's when I started fishing. I was like, okay. Then that's when I found it. I was like, okay, bet. I struck the gold mine. But, like, so what are the restrictions as far as IG, as far as what's the limit that you push on IG as far as your content compared to Twitter? Um, Of course, you can post X-rated stuff on Twitter. Instagram, you just can't be just wilding out. You have to find ways to sell it without actually selling it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, good little... Sexy little clips and things like that. Of course, um, not too much, but completely out. You mm -hmm. have to be covered. It has to like you have on bottoms at least. Yeah. And I know some girls be like, my page keep getting deleted. Mm -hmm. Well, you're damn near posting Twitter stuff on your yeah. Instagram. And yeah. you wonder why they keep taking it down. Like you right. got to be a little bit more strategic when you get on those type of platforms because right. they're not going to have it. Right. right. So, yeah, yeah, it's like bringing you in. And then now you're like, hmm. What else is there here? That's literally what and happened to me. And that's what it is. That's what happened to me. Okay. Good marketing. <laughs> Give me a goddamn five seconds. I'm sorry. I got to pinch this motherfucking <laughs> champagne. Hey, my baby, my mom put a pair of God in me about going to jail. Mm -hmm. so. I went to jail for, for what? 12 hours? Yeah. I did not like it. It's definitely negative. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, jail is I did not like it. It's uncomfortable. I was like, I'm going to have to come back to this motherfucker. Hell no, I was ready to go. What you go to jail for? I didn't even do anything. Aren't we all in this? No, I'm dead serious. Okay, so it was a, my baby daddy asked to come over to see the kids. Mm -hmm. I was nice and flippant, come over to see the kids. Mm -hmm. He starts wilding out. He's like, there. um, well, if my kids live here, that means I live here. He wouldn't leave my fucking house. So I was like, you need to leave before I call the cops. He got scared. 
held me and my sister hostage in the house. Wouldn't let us go nowhere. At gunpoint? No, but you know, that nigga was crazy. Mm -hmm. So he held us in the house hostage. Wouldn't let us go nowhere or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. When I finally got out of the house, I didn't have no shoes on nothing. I went to the nearest gas station. I didn't have my phone or nothing. I called the cops. They came to the house. This little punk ass motherfucker gonna tell them, well, if I'm going to jail, she's going to jail too. She hit me too. I didn't touch him, but I was pissed because damn, I should have whooped your ass right. if I knew I was going to go to jail. Might as well have at that point. I was pissed the hell off. To this day, I still don't like your bitch. Was it a misdemeanor? They didn't charge me. I was luckily the I was in the army at the time. And that's what made it more embarrassing because uh, you know when you get in trouble in the army, that shit comes yeah. up everywhere. Like the whole brigade know your ass got right, in trouble. Right. So it was embarrassing mm. on that level too. But um, the lawyer was like, if you don't get in trouble for the next six months, then it'll just go away. And sponged basically. So how many I'm kids good. we got together? We have two. So. Mm -hmm. so, we met in the military, but got, we didn't get married. Thank there God. We, yeah, there we, I never married him because the military managers be like that. Yeah, I, I didn't want to a clip on that shit. The militaries be like that. Because my was dry. Um. <laughs> so when did you realize? Like, all right. So here's my question, right? Because I see instances where you will have two persons that have multiple kids together. And whether it's the whether it's the mother or the father says he or she's crazy, mm -hmm. but y'all have multiple kids together. When did you realize the craziness? I realized the craziness when he hit me when I was pregnant. I, I it's like one of those things where a lot of people be like, "Well, if someone's putting their hands on you, you need to leave." And but when you've been with somebody and stuff going on like that, and you don't really have a lot of guidance when it comes to stuff like that, you get stuck in that cycle. But then, luckily for me, I woke up to the point where I was like, this is not it. And I left before anything got too, too crazy. I think it was really that whole incident of me going to jail. Motherfucker, you got one time for me to go to jail, bitch. I'll never talk to your ass again. Mm -hmm. I don't know how dudes be talking to girls that keep getting them locked up. Bitch, you got one time for me to go to jail. I'll never talk to your ass again. Jail it's, was just not it. It's very uncomfortable. So, no, yeah. I think that was really what it was because we were still kind of talking at that time, but not yeah. like that. Yeah. And for you to get me locked up, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, we'll never talk again. Nah, this is over. You, if you get the law, once the law get involved. It's over. That's that's the exit door right there. Right. Like, if the law get involved, that's the exit door. Like, seriously. um, You said you don't know how dudes still keep up with chicks that get them locked up. Yeah, it's, like, why are you still talking to her? She got you locked up like five times. It's two things. One of which they don't have much outside of that. They don't have nothing to go to outside of that. Maybe they rely on her for shelter. They rely on her for food. They rely on her for foundation. They rely on her for something, some type of foundation or instance. They rely on her. That's first and foremost. And second and most, she might got that ill. Nah, nah. I don't feel like it's that worth sitting up in jail with somebody. Well, if a dude ain't gonna be playing with again, your ill, a, nah, if a, nah. Again, if a dude ain't got up. if a dude ain't got shit else to go to. <laughs> I mean, what else he gonna go to? Even when he get out, she gonna be like, "You gonna act right," mm -hmm. and he gonna go right back to her ass. You That's right. why I, I could fucking never. That's why I've always been on awesome. I gotta have my own, live by my own. Like, that's how some, it's supposed to be, though. Yeah, but that's how it's supposed to be. But there's some dudes out here that rely on a chick they for their living, for their car, for their for they feeding, for their haircuts, all that. I shit. think a lot of them like that have mommy issues. Are mm -hmm. like they seen that their mom was just. Always doing everything, so they just think a woman's supposed to do everything. So That's I don't know. I, I think Me people look at things a different way. Like I don't know. A lot of people just slow. That could be. <laughs> <laughs> like real for real. That, a lot of motherfuckers really are mentally challenged, and they never got diagnosed, and they just they brain they just I don't know. They just I slow. think it's um. You know, to have to have drive towards something that that comes from within, and I think some dudes just don't have drive towards something. True. If you if you can rely on a chick for your well being in life, then you just don't have no drive for you. Don't have no no discipline, no drive. Like, what's your self esteem like? Like me, I I come from a my mother was single. You know what I'm saying? My whole life, I got three brothers, and we all watched her do everything. 
But still, none of my brothers are like that. None of us are like to the point where we have to depend on another chick. All of us are at least, if we're not go-getters, we're at least dependent upon ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, it, it could come from, because more cases than not, fathers aren't in the household. Right. So maybe that is something where they see their mother do everything, take care of them, spoil them. So they have to, they leave their mother's nest and they go to another nest. Well, I feel like you did make a, a, a valid point. Like, um, you know, you see your mama doing everything, so you didn't come off like that. But... I feel like when it comes to that, like you well, you said something about having drive. Mm -hmm. I think that has a lot to do with it too. I think yeah. people are so codependent these days now. Yeah. Like me, I'm very, I guess I'm hyper independent because I see how my mom, she was very dependent on my mom, on her mom. Mm -hmm. And even as she got older, she still mm -hmm. lived with her mom. And I was just like looking at that situation and what do you get out of this living off somebody else like you should be able to live your own life you should be able to take care of yourself you should be able to do what you want to do because right. it's more freedom and more things that come with doing what you got to do for yourself like it comes with self-love too like you don't love mm -hmm. yourself enough to take care of yourself well i think because it, so you said your mom and your grandmother so i'm assuming you're talking about them being married at a younger age than what's the norm in today's society well no i mean about? as far as like my mom my mom i guess maybe because she was a baby too mm -hmm. like my mom literally lived with my grandmother her whole life like mm -hmm. even as an adult like that comes from the baby because my as far as my brothers my baby brother still lives with his mom which he he was out here with me mm -hmm. but he kind of ran back to her right you know what i mean so i think it's uh, a baby thing because yeah. even like with my baby sister my baby sister still lives with me yeah. but i think because my sisters look at me as their mom because my mom wasn't really like she wasn't really like a mom that was just there like that. So yeah. my sisters definitely look at me as a mom. You're the oldest? And I be, yeah, I'm the oldest. I try to push them to be independent, but like my middle sister, she's catching on with the baby. Oh, Lord. I'm in the same boat. Just, I'm the second oldest, but still I'm in the same boat. Like I tried to bring my my baby brother out here to live with me and show on the roast. I think that kind of... uh. Uh, intimidated him because mm -hmm. he's used to being under my mom who kind of spoils the babies the whole time. When he came out here, I was on his ass. I think he thought like, oh, this ready be sweet. I'm living with my big bro. Nah, no. nigga. I'm ready to show you the ropes how to be a man. Ma, I couldn't show you that shit. You know what I mean? And right. when you was with her, it was kind of sweet. But when you with me, it's ready to be two times what you was doing with her. I'm ready to be on your ass every day. And I'll, I think that kind of intimidated him. But um, So let me ask you this. As far as you being an older child of uh, your, do you have all sisters? I have well on my dad's side. I have a little brother, and mom's um, side. my mom's side. I have two sisters, two mom. younger sisters. Mm -hmm. So I hear it a lot, kind of where like, especially with the mom and having daughters, they kind of rely on her to be like the aunt or the mom figure, if you would. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like that? And if so, like, did you do you kind of resent that? Like, what was what's your feelings towards kind of being put in that position where you had to take care of your younger siblings, kind of in the mother figure? Um, I don't really resent it because I'm very family oriented, like outside of work and everything that I do. I'm a mom. Like I love family stuff. Like I love getting my family together for the holidays and things like that. So I didn't really resent it, but I will say it can be annoying because it gets to a point where if everybody's always depending on me all the time, what if something happens to me? Where, where do I go to? Cause mm -hmm. y'all so dependent on me. Right. I have nothing to fall on when it comes to you guys. What are you guys going to do for me? Do you feel like you missed out at all? Like, because some girls feel like they missed out on certain years in their life because they were playing mommy role from the beginning. No. Nah? No, I wouldn't say that. Um, no, I definitely wouldn't say that. Gotcha. I mean, I was in South Carolina, too, so it wasn't nothing to do anyway. So mm. I don't feel like I missed out on anything. What anything? part of South Carolina again? Sumter. Sumter. There's nothing to do no Listen, way. So <laughs> y'all tell me in the fucking comments, Sumter, South Carolina. If that don't sound like some of the countryest shit you've ever heard, you're in not your gonna life. do something like that because technically it's Merck City. Merck City. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it get down a bit. They calm down a lot though over the years. I would yeah. say that, but before something was wild. Okay, so they calm I mean, down. Listen, listen, no, I ain't knocking the south. I'm not knocking the south as far as y'all going hard. I was just saying it sounds just country. The name. Yeah, I'm not well, saying. Listen, I don't say no. the south don't go hard. Stripes is open, open curry out here. Like I know y'all. You think something sounds bad? Think of the other places that they got in South Carolina, like Walterboro. Oh yeah, that's some. Come on shit. now, right? What's it called? Monk's Corner. 
Monk's Corner. And you talking about something that don't even sound half as <laughs> yeah, bad yeah, as yeah, those yeah, other yeah. names. Monk's Corner, yeah, that's and that's, Maysville. Yeah, and now nah, y'all, y'all, y'all know y'all straps out here. Shit, my baby mother, she, <laughs> Bree told me all the time to strap. She shot. I knew like a third of them. You know what I mean? Like y'all don't, y'all don't play out here. I will never say this out is sweet. I will oh, nah. never say this out with you because one thing I'll say this about Southern. So being out here in Charlotte, I've had a lot of Southern women come on my podcast. Mm -hmm. And vast majority of them, tell me if you fit into this category as well, vast majority of them told me some way, somehow, some story of them fighting niggas. You nodded your head. Like they all look, you know, look, boom, boom and boom. Y'all can't see behind the y'all can't see behind the cameras. My baby mother behind the camera, she nodded her head. But Coco What you well. mean, like, what you mean fighting them? Fighting niggas, throwing hands with niggas at some point in your life. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Yay or nay? You know what? I got to the point where I got tired of fighting niggas. I run you over with my car. That's what I'm saying. But I don't do that no more. <laughs> I very I didn't calm down a lot. Like, oh me will pull up on you real quick. Like, what's up? We finna square up for real. That's but I'm not like that no more. Like, it's not and like all, not, and I'm older. They all say that too. I don't I don't live like that no I more. I don't because I, I got I got Jazzo, stuff to lose. Jazzo 704. Shout I out Jazzo 704. Now. Shout out to Big Bree. <laughs> Shout out to Lonnie. Shout out to all my uh SC and S and NC women that been on the podcast. They all said the same shit. They would tell me how they used to at some point fight dudes, but yet they calmed down and they ain't like that no more. Yeah, I got stuff to lose now. Like back then when I was younger, I ain't had nothing to lose, so I whoop your ass. Straight up, because you playing with me, you're not finna play with me like that. That's why I said. And I ain't gonna lie, like, some niggas need their ass whooped. And that's the problem with these. It's so much <laughs> internet shit now, so people yes, be forgetting man. they can get their ass whooped All in real life. Networks and, and, that, and that's why I don't argue with people online. I will block you, because my next question is, bitch, where the fuck you at? Because I'm finna pull up. I don't do all that. I'm from the South Bay. We actually pull up. We got the cameraman over here. And I'm finna whoop your ass right now. And people gonna be able to see this. I like that. You feel me? So, yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, there's too many internet thugs. And that's why everybody's so sensitive. Everybody not used to getting their ass with where I come from. Mm -hmm. We pull up at your mama house. And it be like three, four cousins in the car. You can bring your cousins too. We gonna mm -hmm. make sure nobody jump nobody. And you can get your ass with. We go to school the next day and nothing happened. I've had people when I was in school will get on the bus. At your bus stop just to whoop your ass. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's the problem today. People don't get their ass whoop enough. Yeah, and all the shooting is stupid because how somebody gonna learn their lesson? They did. The lesson is not being taught. Mm -hmm. Back then, mm -hmm. I seen the hardest of the hardest get their ass whooped one time, and the motherfucker don't talk no more. Shut your ass in up. In school, at the boys and girls club, <laughs> I swear to God, at the boys, the hardest motherfucker in the boys and girls club, they motherfucking pops pull up, whip they ass in front of everybody, and they be calm as shit after. Yep. That's all yeah. you need is an ass whooping. It's too many internet stuff. People get online, yeah. and they do too much talking, uh -huh. and that's why people are so disrespectful nowadays, too. People not used to getting their ass whooped. Because some niggas just need their ass whooped. That's all. Because it's no, um, it's no, reper not repercussions, because it can be, but it's no, like, it's no boundaries. Right. Because you can talk shit live and direct in person without really being in person at the same time. Whether it is for me profile, whether you make a burner profile, whatever, you can talk shit freely. It's right. not in, but in person, they wouldn't do that they shit. They would never. It's easy to text you bitch ass motherfuckers, mm -hmm. boom, send it. In person, come on, man. That's they why I don't argue online. Like, I've gotten to the point. I have never. things to lose now. Like, even never. on TikTok. Yeah. Come on my page if you want to and say something I don't like. Report. <laughs> Deal with TikTok, bitch. Be mad at them. I got stuff. You're not finna have. Because when you say stuff back, mm -hmm. normally on TikTok, you get in trouble. Yeah. So, TikTok has taught me, I don't say nothing. Yeah. I'm going to just report you. Now, you're going to be mad at TikTok. Because now you got a penalty on your account. Shout out to the Blueprint, the album on the wall. Um, Jay Z, my top three favorite artists of all time. He said, "A wise man told me don't argue with fools, cause people from a distance can't tell who is who." I don't argue neither. I have so many, cause I post a lot of controversial clips, if you would, mm -hmm. and which is good, cause I'm I'm not black and white with my shit. Like people post shit to be politically correct. No, we're having real conversations. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna post it, and a lot of them shits get comments where people come from my neck or from my guest neck, and they talk crazy as shit. I never was. Every here and there, if I'm in a mood... When you're bored, yeah, it's, so, it's fun. Yeah, 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 I ain't gonna yeah, lie, yeah, I might yeah. ruffle a few feathers when I'm bored. Yeah, if you bored, if you in the mood, yeah. you'll go through like one or two comments and respond to them just to be on that type of time. Because I've been instigating on Facebook lately. Yeah, yeah. That whole Cheesecake Factory stuff, it's been so fun. Well, let's end on that note. So, the list. <laughs> 
the first date list. Well, first off, was Shorty wrong or was she not wrong for the Cheesecake Factory declining of? First of all, you're definitely wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay, because baby, with the way shit high in America right now, you better be glad a nigga want to take your ass somewhere to go eat. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like Facts. a nigga could have said, "Just come over the house," and that... I think so. We could just chill and smoke. You need to be happy. Somebody asking to take you out, motherfuckers. The way groceries are right now, the way everything is just high as hell. Everything. Rent is high. People's mortgages who had fixed mortgages then went up. And you complain about a motherfucker spending some money to take you out to eat. You need to be grateful. Shit is high as hell. A motherfucker want to take you out to eat. He really like you. Yeah. He could have took that and got some, a little bit of groceries for the house. Nah, for real. And Cheesecake Factory, good as hell. What is you talking about? The pasta be hitting. And Take me, to, whoever to, that was. I'm, I want to go eat. Let's go. Holla at Coco and me. She'll, she'll slide with you and glide with you. Yeah, let's go. And then they, and then they cheesecake is good too. Hell like, yeah, they, just, they got the best cheesecake. Literally, it's like cheesecake it's not called, factory. Yeah, it's not called that for nothing. They cheesecake actually be had. And the calamari. The calamari good. is good. Okay, so let's make our way to the list, shall we? <laughs> so I'm gonna go down the list. You're gonna give me a year and a. All right. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. And this is like first dates. First dates. We're talking first dates. Okay. Literally first dates. Because, you know, first of all, let me ask you, who do you think even made this list? Do you think women made this list? I don't think I so. I think a man made it to ruffle some feathers. Because, you know, so it's too. somebody out here messy as hell. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. You I, know. I, they be starting shit. Hey, they messy. Me, I you, love y'all, but y'all are messy. <laughs> since, since you said that, let me say this. Because I never really came across this since I moved to the South. It's a down, It's a lot of down low lovers out here. It is. And I, I work at the YMCA. It goes down at the YMCA. Oh. That song, yo, I, now, it goes I, down. now I realize that song. Because that song was made by gay dudes. Mm. You know, the Indian, the cowboy, the police officer, the chief, all that shit. You see, like, costumes, like, as far as, like, parades and shit, like, gay dudes that be in the police officer right, outfit. Right, with the Daisy Dukes Yeah, stuff. that came from that video, the YMCA. I didn't know that. It was gay dudes that made that. I didn't know And that. they were literally talking about it goes down to the YMCA. And I didn't realize that shit until I, I started working at the I thought they meant working out. No. Well, I guess the they YMCA. working out. Damn. Some of my work people might say, I don't give a fuck. Y'all see it. Y'all be seeing it in the locker room. The YMCA is a fucking hookup spot. It is off the fucking hook, too. I don't care if I get... I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to put them on blast because... I never saw this shit until I saw I work at the YMCA. Mm-hmm. So when I first got there, I work out at my job. I work out a lot every day. So I'm in a locker room, in the men's locker room, getting changed. And when you get – I played football in college. So, you know, I'm I'm comfortable with getting butt-ass naked, right. like, just to change. I'm not saying I'm walking around like the old heads walking around. Yo, what's up? You catch the game. I'm my dick swinging. But I'm saying, like, if I'm in front of my locker, I'm going to get ass naked to change. I'm going to get ass naked in the shower, all that shit. So when I got out here, I realized, like, it's a different vibe. Two instances. One, the first one, I'm changing, and a dude comes up to me. Hey, what's up, man? You working? You must be new. I'm like, yeah. Now, listen, I'm from up north. I heard about Southern Hospitality. So I'm thinking. So you try to be a little lean. I'm thinking it's Southern Hospitality. I'm thinking it's cuz just being friendly. on I'm like, yeah, what up? We chopping it up. He asked for my number. I didn't think any of it at the time. Boom. I gave my number to the this motherfucker text me emojis and shit like that and like yo when you working out trying to get like you da, da. and here's the thing i didn't realize this the nigga never left the locker room he would go from sauna to steam room to steam room to sauna rinse and repeat never saw so him he never room. worked out never never he would only be in a locker room and then i started hearing stories about him the stories about the ymca locker rooms is treacherous damn they better be glad jeffrey Dahmer ain't alive and out because he would have been at the ymca getting yo, up all of them it's net like the stories i've heard of my job at the ymca and i'm at an adult only facility i mm-hmm. think it's which makes it different because we're the only adult only facility so dudes from all over come to my joint and like people, like the stories I hear and the shit I see, it's like a hookup hub. Like people come there and it's certain shower stalls that if you're in there and if you leave it cracked, that's like a sign for the peak on. It's nasty. It's nasty. But we're kind of, we're kind of, <laughs> we're kind of derailing. I haven't been in the locker room in a few months now, but we're kind of derailing from the. Okay. So I'm going to go down the first date list and you okay. give me a yay or a nay. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Applebee's. Yeah. Chili's. Yes. Chipotle. For the first date? Yeah. 
I don't like Chipotle, so I'm gonna have to say no. And that's heavy on the stomach too. I that can that can like kind of give you the BGs. That can give you mud butt. <laughs> All right, Olive Garden. Yeah. The movies. Yeah. Uh, movies is good because well, here's the thing: if you do the movies as a first date, you have to do that first, and then go somewhere after to talk. So that way, you have something to talk about. You right. Can talk about the movies. And I want to know if you talk during movies too, because that's gonna let me know if you're gonna piss me the fuck off or not. Because I can't stand watching movie with somebody and. You know, did he just slap him? Nigga, you just seen him slap yeah. nigga like me and you keep asking me what's going on. We watching the same movie. What if it's, but what if it's entertaining uh, uh, sidebars that you I mean, entertaining, yeah, because I'm goofy. So, yeah, okay, yeah definitely. It, gets, yeah. it lets me know your personality a little bit more too, watching the movie. Okay. Your house? No. Any fast food chain? Like what, McDonald's? McDonald's, Burger no. King. Okay, no. so we have three no's so far. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, they got some good wings. Good fucking wings, right? Yeah. And the TVs are good. Right, it's, and you it's know, very entertaining. Right, yeah, yeah they yeah. got some good drinks too. Yeah, they do. Wing stop. No. That's basically like a fast food chain. Yeah, that right? is. Like, yeah. no. Red Lobster. The biscuits. We can go to Red Lobster. Yeah, the biscuits. A buffet. No. No, that's too much eating. Nah, because you know, I don't want to go to no, but first of all, buffets are uncomfortable. As fuck, because it's a bunch of fat ass people walking back around eating all this food, and then they go to the bathroom and funk up the fucking bathroom. Now the food ain't good no more, because you got shit smell on top of the buffet. No, we're not going there. Let me say this. If you go to a buffet and take a shit at a buffet... I've seen it. Really? That's that's as bad as taking a shit on a plane. And then they go back to eating again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, like you already done got toe up one time, you're going to come back here and eat some more. Spread the funk. Nah, yeah. if you're taking a shit at a buffet, then you need to reevaluate, reevaluate, I should say, certain aspects of your life because that's wild. If you yeah, ain't got I, I've the, seen it. If you ain't got the stomach and the bowels to hold that for an extra 20 minutes so you get to the crib, but still, yeah. I buffet, walked in. Yeah, buffet is too much eating in, in general, yeah. Right. Nah, I hop. No, I don't like IHOP. Denny's. Mm -mm. I was going to say, IHOP at Denny's is tomato, tomato. Yeah, no. All right. Uh, the gym. Yeah. The gym for the first day of school with you? Cool. I like to work out. Yeah, let's okay. go. Okay, nice. Make, let's know you take care of your body. I like mm -hmm. that. Church. No. No? Because why are we going no. there? For first day? I don't know. I feel like if you take me to church on the first day, to me, it's weird. Because that's weird in my book. Person. It's weird for a first date. We have to get to know each other and find out each other's chemistry right. and all that. Starbucks. No. Coffee date. That's kind of like in between for me. Why so? I don't know because would I like to go on a coffee? Date? That means if we go on a coffee date, that means you gonna want to do a lot of talking, and mm -hmm. that's cool. So I guess that's okay. Okay. I've never been on one, but I've been offered some. I don't drink coffee, but even yeah, still, yeah, I'm like, not just a big the, coffee the drinker vibe, either. I think it's, uh, I think it's good for just talking, boom, 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 back and forth type shit. Right. All right, ice cream date. No. Why not? Cause like you gonna have me shitting afterwards. Oh, that's why you gotta make a date. Oh, that's why you gotta make it quick. If you if I go on I don't an ice cream like date, ice cream like, that. like here's if I were to go on an ice cream date, me personally, we would go for a walk first and end it with ice cream, and then boom, that's the end. Of you the know, date. I have been on an ice cream date, but it was at one of the what was that place called where they chop it up and do all that fancy stuff was that with amusement it. Amusement park? No, it was it's it was it was Cold a nice Stone? fancy yeah, one right. though. Cold it was Stone a fancy does. one. It wasn't no little. But it's cheap. like Cold Stone where they do that. Yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. it was Cold Stone actually. Okay. That wasn't too bad of a date. Right. It was decent. But I don't think it was the first date though. Okay. Yeah, we're talking first date. Okay. 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 Here's where it gets a little the other mean. All right. Family function. No. That's weird as fuck for a first like, date. What? How many bitches do you bring around these motherfuckers? Don't bring me over here. Yeah, that's where this day. Okay, movie night. But it says Netflix, Hulu, etc. So I'm thinking home movie no. night. No. All Too right. much of an opportunity for you to try to have sex with me. Nope. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, somewhere that requires a long drive. So going for a long drive. Nope. Why not? You might be a serial killer. Why you want to take me so far out on the first date? That's true. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. Bowling. Bowling's cool. I was going to say, bowling is a yeah, that's great, cool. I like cool. I like great bowling. first date. Great first date. All right, bowling. Nightclub. No. Agreed. Hookah bar. No. Why not? It depends on the hookah bar. Like, if it's like a chill hookah bar where it's not too lit. We... No, let's go opposite. Loud atmosphere no. type hookah bar. Okay. Mm -mm. Why not? I can't talk to you. Word. All right. Um, a bar for just drinks. 
So go and have a drink. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's chef's yeah, kiss. Yeah, that's cool. All right, Waffle House. No. What about as a nightcap for a first date after drinks, going out for drinks? That, the Waffle House is a nightcap. Mm-mm. Okay. So no Waffle House, fellas. Not on a uh, first date. All right, sports sports events. Like like a big sport event, like at a arena. going to a live football game, live basketball, that's cool. going to a Hornets game. That's cool. Yeah, I think that's cool. But then again, I don't know because it's loud mm. and it's like you ain't gonna really. Be but it's no it's it's, to me. it's quiet moments in between that you can chop it up and whatnot. Well, yeah, I guess yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so listen with this. What's your ideal? Give me like an ideal first date. Um, an ideal first date would be taking me to a nice restaurant to go eat. I like food. I like to sit and vibe and have drinks. And yeah, I I like to eat. So anything with food, baby, let go. So yeah, I think that would be a good idea date for me. I don't like nothing too crazy on the first date because I'll be, I be feeling like you're crazy. Because why what, you doing What do you mean by that? Too like, crazy. you know, if a dude take you out on a date and... Oh, I have a carriage outside waiting on us. Like, bro, what you doing all this for? Like, what's what if wrong he got with you? Money if you want to impress That's you. some cornball <laughs> ass shit. Because first of all, you just met me. You feel me? Like, we don't even know each other. You want to take do all this? Like, it made me feel like you do this for all the females, and this make me feel what's like what's wrong with that? It's a problem. Cause he like, has you, money. He has nowhere else to spend the money. He literally has nowhere else to spend dudes the money. Dudes that do stuff like that end up being super controlling in the end, and they're crazy. I'm telling you now, a dude taking you on extravagant stuff like that all in the mm-hmm. beginning, they're looking to, for means for to, to try to control you in some way, mm-hmm. and they're crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't really want you to get to know you. They're, they're throwing their money in your face. They want you to get to know their money. And once you get used to that money, you now like, you're hooked. Now you're like in there. control over you. Right. No. Mm-mm. I okay. want to get to know you. I don't care about your money right now. Yeah. All right. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, uh, listen, Coco and Nice, you Googling Coco. That's the second time I just said that. Do y'all know where that's from? What? Thank you. Well, I said you Googling Coco? Oh, yeah. I know he's talking about. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I, I'm going to type. I throw like subtle, subtle jokes and whatnot. But um, regardless, this conversation has been great. What did I tell you before? This ain't going to be an interview. It's going to be a conversation. That's cool. Let's I had it. I had bullet points that we didn't even touch on because it just, the conversation just flew that's a passion for uh, flow, yeah. It just flew, and we just we just made that shit happen. Um, I appreciate your insight. I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your transparency. This was great. We we have a mutual follower. I forgot her name. I think it's like Peachy something or whatever maybe. But next time around, bring her home, girl. You know what I'm saying? I got three. Okay, cool, because they love me. The girls love me. Yeah, I got three mics. Let's chop it up some more and go more in depth because we could. Only reason I'm stopping it is just because time-wise. I but might we, get some homies from Atlanta to pull up. Do it. We could have easily went for another hour, but time-wise, I'm right. going to stop it just to give people, you know what I'm saying, something to. And I'm trying to get back to my lasagna soup. Lasagna it was fire. soup? Yeah. Yo, it was fire. I've heard of that. I've never had it, but I've had some great lasagna, so I can only imagine how good that would be. Good. But I say that to say, thank you for pulling up. No problem. I had a good time. I enjoyed the conversation. Me too. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. And you as well. We got to hang out, Baby mother. Yeah. Just call her BM. You call her BM. I'm not going to call her that. <laughs> 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 nah, bro. I think even that. Uh, Winston, right? You pulled up from Winston? Yeah. 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 What do you got planned for the rest of the night? Um, Auntie going to bed. I was going to go out, but I'm finna go to bed. What time is it? 10, 18? Yeah, I feel like 10 o'clock, that's when like the real sleepers, as soon as 10 o'clock, the, you can tell who's a real sleeper. Yeah, so I'm finna lay in the bed with my dogs and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. I wish I could take your dog with me because she seemed like she's a cuddler. Is she a cuddler? <sighs> she is, but here's the thing with Desi. I love Desi with all my heart. I've had her for five years. She is very she she throws people for a loop. And what I mean by that is this. She seems nice and cuddly like at this point. and all that shit right now. One, she sheds like a fucking gremlin, first and foremost. I mean, it's I had to vacuum in a whole spot before y'all pulled up just because she sheds so much. Two, she her energy is like a pit bull with ADHD. Pit bulls have energy like a motherfucker. Right. But she is that times like three. 
She just well, can't be, I have a chihuahua, so it's like, and she's only a she's only a year. I promise you, she would she would she go in the bathroom and tear tissue the trash can, get her ass up every time, and still go do it. She would throw your chihuahua off. Your chihuahua will go somewhere in the corner, like, all right, bitch, you doing too much. I like, get on my face. <laughs> okay, so she I she got the bad man. Her energy. You see next Friday, right? <laughs> yeah. Remember Chico? Uh-huh. It's the same dog. I'm not gonna let you talk about her. I'm on her side. I'm, nah, I'm on I'm her not, side. You're not gonna do every, that. Her, every her day, like that. I, listen. Every, she was so nice to me when I came in here. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> I have known this girl for five years. She gets everybody. You think I'm lying? I'm not calling the dog a narcissist. <laughs> That's the funny part. You think a lot. She she's good at what she you does. You calling her a narcissist. She's good at what she's done. You are you are she's, agreeing she, with him? She's her da- she's her daddy child. I'll say that because she's good at what she does. She's her daddy child because she gets everybody like this. My mom, like I said, I'm gonna take her to her mom. My mom cannot watch her for more than two months because what happens is like I'm stern on Desi. Because I have to be. I had a right. chocolate lab that I let do whatever she want because you ain't have to be. Desi, that's a lot of character in a 50-pound dog. I have to be assertive on her because if not, she will run a fucking muck. That's just the character of that dog. When she go to my mother's house and my mother be trying to, ooh, Desi, come here. Da, 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 da. And Desi be like, oh, yeah? Is that sweet? <laughs> Bet. She plays it cool for like a good two weeks. And after that, she runs a fucking muck. She runs the house. And my mother like, why not Desi listening? Why is she doing whatever he want? Why is she humping all these dogs? Desi humps dogs. <laughs> Desi humps dogs. She's very do- she's very um dominant right. for a girl. She humps dogs. So that's what she she'll throw you for a loop for like two weeks, and after that you be like, what the fuck? Why is not she not? Why is she listening to me? Why is she doing whatever the fuck she want? It's because she's her daddy's child, and I know how to treat her. She a little hoe like a daddy. Oh, she a little hoe. She a little hoe like a daddy. She that's fixed, crazy. right? Huh? Is she fixed? Yeah. Ooh, thank she God. Hoe, we don't want no ugly ass. Puppies, cause she got to mess with her own kind. Yeah. She can't mess with nothing, cause you know they nah, got those, that long those puppies, those puppies do look wild. I call they look like naked mole rats. I yeah, call, so call, she she got to stick with her own breed. I call her a shark rat. Don't talk about her like that. It's love. I call her a shark rat. That's what she look like. <laughs> well, I like her. Maybe you know, in moderation. Then since she acting all like, since I got all the details, maybe you should watch her for a week. I watch her. We Bring might, on. I love dogs. We might gotta set that up. I'm so mad that you call me home, not a hoe. But we we might <laughs> got just your baby mama. She know you a hoe. She said what she said. And I believe you is too. I smell it on you. Well, listen, y'all. I think y'all been tuning in. I think y'all been tuning in. Whether you watch it on YouTube, listen on your respected podcast platform, listen day by day podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or Hot Radio, whatever the fuck you listen to your podcast on, tune in. But I also advocate for you to tune in on the visuals. Go ahead over to YouTube, watch the visuals, because it's a vibe. Boom, boom, boom. It's a vibe all the way through, so I you know, push for you to tune in on that. But regardless, I thank y'all for tuning in. But more so than that, I thank Coco and Nice for pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Pulling up on the pod. <laughs> Just, just, just kick it some real convo. Like I didn't even get some most of my notes because we just had a fucking. I'm convo a vibe, y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you, she is. I advocate for that. She is a vibe. She is a vibe, and I thank you for that. But matter of fact, I should have added something to that. What you want to add to it? I should have said, shoot, if you if you share it, if you share at least two people, you send it to me. I'll give you thirty days free on my VIP OnlyFans. Wait, say that again. If you share it to at least two people, mm-hmm. you will get 30 days free on my VIP OnlyFans. If you're shared to at least two people? Yeah. As as in if you have two... Like, share it so people can view it. Oh, share. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Plug that. <laughs> I'll plug that. Tell them what you just said. Look, if y'all share it... Matter of fact, I'm going to put it like this. If y'all share it to at least three people... Okay, share this this uh the podcast to these three people, mm-hmm. and you show that you shared the three people. I will give you thirty days free on my VIP only fans. But you gotta approve it though, cause I'm a check. I'm a check. Do I count for that? What do you mean? Can I can I do it and get the free access? Absolutely not. <laughs> I heard what you said. You got show sites already. Don't even do that. What you said? You got show sites. I do. Yeah. Spankbang.com. <laughs> you don't even want to put your Twitter. card in there. So no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, listen, man. She said it first. Oh, Share the three people. Show her. Send it to her DM or whatever, and then she'll give you free access. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'll just say this. I've only seen snippets. I'll say it's worth and it. And I got new content. I just shot new content yesterday. I didn't get home until like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So. I wanted to speak something on that, but it's cool. We, we spoke a, okay, enough about cool, the OnlyFans, cool. but it's, we may have to, you know what I'm saying, spend a bit on it. But yeah, that's it. All right, boom.